Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map Afford Friends. Thanks to our presenting sponsor, the Coffee Roasters Mastermind Group, with our new coach, Ante Bikic. Head to the show notes for details on how you can join the Coffee Roasters Mastermind Group today. Today on the podcast, we're talking about future proofing your business and your career. We're going to start with your career and then we're going to talk about your business. Now, what is future proofing? The world is changing quickly. A lot of mechanisms that we use to have built our coffee careers on and activate our careers as well as our businesses, mechanisms like uh, the purpose of the coffee shop, what purpose does it serve these days, what purposes does the barista to customer interaction serve in today's environment? It's a really great question. It's a really relevant question for today. And so what we want to look at is what are the mechanisms that existed, let's say pre-2020, and how have the influences of the pandemic changed the requirements of what your job and your business will look like in the future? So we're not by the future, we don't just mean 12 months from now. We don't mean post-pandemic. We mean long-term future. At Mapper Forward, when we talk about careers and we talk about building businesses, we look at a 10-year scope and we call that a map. So from here to 10 years and then the next 10 years, how are you looking at your career and your business so that you can prepare for the future so that you're not taken out by any blind spots? Now, if you look at what happened with the pandemic, Any business that wasn't already prepared for online businesses ended up being brought to their knees for them as well as their employees. And so if we start with how you can future-proof your career, let's look at how what the pandemic showed us uh, as professionals, how vulnerable our careers are now And if we don't prepare for the future, what that could potentially mean. Now, the business model, which we're going to talk about in a future episode, the business model for coffee has changed. And that means that the role of the barista will adapt over time. You as a barista, you as a coffee roaster will notice that your job was the first vulnerability point that your employer looked at when it came to cost saving uh, throughout the pandemic. Now, that should be a clear indication for you that your career is not future-proofed in case something like this happens again. I want you to take a look at what happens if another pandemic happens or if what's happening with the Delta variant is going to come and hit your local area like it's hit mine. I want you to think about how technology will affect the future of your position. Is automation going to change the way that your job's done? And I want you to think about the way that small business and business is done in general is going to affect the trajectory that you have for your career. Now, putting those three things into play, how are you going to look at taking the skill sets that you have acquired during your career and repurpose them if a career in coffee is something that you are still wanting to maintain. This pandemic has shown a lot of people that perhaps a career in coffee is not what they want. If a career in coffee is what you want, I really urge you to start considering how you're going to future-proof your career. If a career in coffee is something that you want, I would encourage you to consider taking the Coffee Consultant's new six-week course that we are offering at the moment. So you can't join halfway, you can't join three-quarters of the way or whatever. You've got to start at the beginning. It goes for six weeks. But here's the thing. If you are thinking about one day becoming a consultant, now is the time to think about doing this course. And the reason is because 
knowing what's needed for you to become a small business owner from now, even if it's in your future, this is going to help you frame your mind for what's going to be required for you to be able to do that. Now, that could be as a consultant in baristering or in coffee or in roasting or in business setup, whatever it is. In this six weeks, we're going to take you through everything that you're going to need to consider as you set up a small business as a consultant in the coffee industry. And that is a really great way for you to start thinking about future-proofing your career by knowing from now what the next two or three steps are that you'd like to take in your career. Now, in future-proofing your business, this is a big one. You need to think about how the pandemic has pointed out the weak spots in your business model and how you were able to pivot or not. What was the changes in consumer behavior throughout the pandemic and how are consumer uh, behaviors changing now with things like inflation becoming a very real thing? So uh, I'm starting to see a lot of businesses, particularly in the restaurant space, start to advertise that the cost of their uh, meat has gone up by 47%. The cost of a lot of their vegetables are up between 27 to 34%. Uh, milk is up almost 50%. All of these things are going up and they're talking about that to their customer. How are you future-proofing your business in relation to your customer relationships and consumer buying habits? Also, technology is going to be massively important moving forward. How are other businesses that are in the same space as you perhaps automating their sales systems or their production systems? How can you adapt to those uh those mechanisms so that you can future-proof your business. Another thing I want you to think about, what is the technology that you're using to run your business? Not from a production perspective, not from a sales perspective, but to run the admin of your business. And in a future episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking about the increase of ransomware and how that could be posed as a definite threat to your business now. So think about technology, think about your consumer behavior, the consumer behavior of your customers, and think about how that is changing now and into 10 years from now, how you think about scaling your business and making sure that you're considering technology, the shifts in the workforce, and the way that commodities are moving with regards to pricing structures and how you'll prepare for all those changes moving into the future. I hope you found this helpful, friends. Peace, love, and peanut butter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have an amazing rest of your day.